This is Billiam. I miss having cable, not really from a use standpoint, but just from an aesthetic one. I mean, themed blocks of TV shows with consistent hosts, visuals, and music really helped to lay out a mood for what you were watching. I mean, nothing made the mood in the room change more than when Cartoon Network would shift from the innocence of sheep in the big city to the testosterone-filled fistfights of Dragon Ball Z. Now prepare to die! It's like time. Anime wasn't new to American audiences, but Toonami wanted to make anime cool. The host was the smooth talking voiced by Steve Bloom Tom. Tom cruised through space, grooving to the perfect mood setting soundtrack, which was often paired with the energetic promos for whatever show was about to be on. But as cool as Toonami was, it couldn't sell me on Zatch Bell. I knew this was a bad idea. Zatch Bell, premiere Saturday, March 5th at 9.30. Open up and say I thought the show looked dumb as heck back in the day. I'm not really sure why, but I'm sure this thing didn't do it any favors. Zatch Bell stars Keo, an absolute genius high schooler who is also an absolute jerk. But one day, Keo's father, a professor away performing research in England, sends him a wonderful gift. A child! It turns out that this child is Zatch Bell, a kind-hearted young boy with amnesia. I'm here because your father asked me to help you. My name is Zatch Bell. Zatch gives Keo a magic notebook that he mysteriously has. One thing leads to another and Zatch is shooting lightning out of his mouth. It turns out Zatch is a kind of demon. Hold on, let's make that trademarkable. It turns out Zatch is a kind of Momoto. And every 1,000 years, Momoto are sent from their world to the human world to participate in a battle to decide the next Momoto king. Momoto are blocked from using their powers unless they can team up with the one human destined to be their partner, the only person capable of reading the spells from their book. Zatch and Keo go about their day-to-day -day lives while fighting off enemy Momoto and finding time to train in between classes. I could never get into Zatch Bell as a kid. I, I really, really don't know what turned me off from it. But here's the thing. I'm really dumb. Don't listen to Kid Billy. I just watched the first season of the show and I love it. So it's time to make up for my mistakes. Dr. Octagonopus! I'm sorry for making another mistake. Like everyone else, shopping online right now has become very important to me, not just because of the current state of the world, but because the current state of the world has prevented me from getting my license renewed, so it's been very difficult for me to go out shopping. And every time I'm about to check out online, that little promo code field just stares at me, mocking me, daring me to try to save money with coupons. But I do. I do save money, thanks to Honey. Honey is a free browser extension automatically activated at checkout. It takes seconds to scan the entire internet for all available coupon codes and automatically tests them and bam, just like that, I've saved nearly $7 on a brand new slick pair of joggers during the year where I'm wearing nothing but joggers. Honey has saved over 17 million members, over $2 billion from over 30,000 stores. From GameStop, Etsy, Uber Eats, and even AliExpress. Hey, I'll turn to Universe Billy. Slick new joggers. Oh, I'm gonna go pick up some yummy food. You got $7 so I can get you some too? Oh yeah, of course, let me just... Oh, if only I didn't throw away free money by not using honey. So avoid wasting money like alternate reality Billy and go to joinhoney.com slash billion. It takes only a few seconds to install and you'll be doing me and yourself a huge favor. So thank you again to Honey for sponsoring this video. Zatch Bell was originally published in the Japanese publication Weekly Shonen Sundays in January of 2001. The series was written by Makoto Raikou and was his first published weekly manga. Raikou initially conceptualized writing a manga about a simple idea, big sword, big boy. But he scrapped that idea in favor of another one about a teenage boy fighting alongside a possessed doll. He was encouraged by his editor to make the doll cuter and Zatch was born. Zatch has lightning powers because Raikou in Japanese means lightning. Raikou also likes Animal Crossing. Two years after being published, Zatch Bell would be adapted into a three-season, 150-episode anime produced by Toei Animation, who's also known for animating. <laughs> Then, Viz Media purchased the rights to produce an English adaptation that aired on Toonami in the US and YTV in Canada. This video is going to be about the English dub of Zatch Bell. I know a lot of people would prefer I cover the original Japanese version, but even if I did, there would be people who'd prefer I cover the manga, which is considered to be the best version of Zatch Bell. I watched the English dub because this is what I would have seen as a kid, so I'm judging it on its own. If I say I like something in the English dub that's not being comparative to the Japanese version, that's just saying I like it in its own world, because guess what? The kids who watched this on 
on TV, on Toonami, did so without comparison. Not everything has to be comparative. To call Zatch Bell an episodic show wouldn't totally be inaccurate. While the plot surrounding the Momoto tournament is the overarching through line, many episodes are slice of life one-offs featuring Kyo's friends and other Momoto teams they meet. Kyo and Zatch make the perfect pair. It's a wholesome sibling dynamic. Zatch is incredibly sweet, like the nicest baby ever to grace the screen. Pretty cool, isn't he? I'll bet there's no other kid around with a friend like that. I love him, Keo. Thanks. Where's he from? How old is he? Five minutes. He's an adorable little gremlin child, and he should be given everything he ever wanted. And Keo is the worst. It turns out Kyo's dad is a professor and knowing his son is a piece of shit because he sent Zatch to be with Kyo in hopes that Zatch's overwhelming niceness would maybe rub off on him a bit. Kyo is a 14 year old boy genius, but not the kind of boy genius that shares a voice actor with Zatch. Then you are Zatch. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. Kyo thinks he's unable to make friends because of the intellectual gap between him and his classmates, but in reality, Kyo is a f Even if you tried to make friends, it wouldn't be so bad. Who cares? I don't want to be friends with that bunch of brainless losers anyway. It was the only thing he wasn't smart enough to see. Of course no one wants to be his friend. Nobody but Zatch. Zatch activates his plan, Operation Hero of Justice, which is designed to help Kyo build self-confidence and make friends by standing up for what's right. Zatch helps Kyo to see the air of his insufferable ways, and Kyo vows to be a kinder person, which is a much more interesting character arc than the generic, we have to be the best, we have to get more powerful shonen protagonist motivations that I'm used to seeing in these kinds of things. But that's not to say they don't want power. Many episodes feature Zatch and Kyo trying to do something normal when they suddenly come across another Momoto team. Sometimes they're attacking Zatch and Kyo for the sole purpose of becoming the Momoto King. But other times, Zatch and Kyo take it upon themselves to stop Momoto teams from using their powers to do many nefarious things, like robbing a bank, polluting the biodome, and kidnapping. Of course, Kyo's never the one to intervene in these kinds of situations. Instead, it's Zatch's enthusiasm that forces him to. Zatch's amnesia is a really great plot device early on. Functionally, it frames exposition about the Momoto world and this tournament as a mystery to be solved, rather than an onslaught of explanation to be given right as the series starts. At first, Zatch doesn't even realize he has the power to shoot lightning because he blacks out every time he does it. In Zatch's mind, he's just a kid who likes to watch cartoons about a kung fu fighting praying mantis, has a little toy made out of a box, and can eat an entire yellowfin tuna hole. I love him so much. Despite being like ultra powerful, he goes to the playground every day and gets bullied by this horrible thing called Naomi. She, she's not a demon. Just a child. It isn't until Zatch and Kyo start running into other Momoto teams that they figure out what's going on. Many plots center around Kyo's socialite. He makes friends and Zatch follows him to school every day to remind him to not be such a piece of shit. If you're bored with class, then you can help me with my studies again. Just leave me alone. Just mind your own business. I'm sick and tired of this stupid school anyway. Jesus Christ, Kyo, chill out. Enter the perfect test for Kyo's newfound appreciation for kindness. Susie, Kyo's best human friend who's just a complete Dumbo baby. I love Susie's voice actor. It just sounds like she's sloshed 24 seven. But for today only, they're selling them at half price. That's one half of the whole doll for only half the price. Like Susie wins a trip to Hong Kong, ends up in England, but never realizes she didn't actually go to Hong Kong. Here you go. Oh, what a great looking clock. They also had a big Ben when I was in England. Wow, I guess they must be a chain store, huh? <laughs> I think it's a clock store. Susie is introduced as soon as Keo realizes he wants to be a nicer person. It kind of feels like the show is setting them up to be a couple, but in one episode, Susie gets kidnapped and Keo describes why she's important to him. <laughs> There's nothing redeeming about her. That's not only funny, but it also makes Keo's efforts to be more nice a bit more sincere because he still tries despite being a judgmental sh**. Eventually, we meet more serious foes and rivals like Sherry and Grago. Grago is the cool Momoto. He's got a reputation. Everyone knows how powerful Grago is, but Grago hates that he has to team up with Sherry. Sherry is super rich and she hates all Momotos because Momoto is controlling her best friend's mind and forcing her to commit acts of mass violence. Jeez, overreact much? We also meet more friendly Momoto teams like Megumi and Tia. Megumi is a superstar idol who is definitely raising some eyebrows at Kyo in a maybe she wants to hold hands kind of way. And it's through Tia we learn of Zatch's reputation as a Momoto. 
little baby, which makes it even more impressive when he does stuff like this. The overarching plot of Zach Bell is very slow moving, but I kind of prefer the show this way. The main cast of characters are really charming and funny, and we get to spend a lot of downtime with them. Zatch is perfectly cute with the small little lemon twist of Creepy and Keo being the piece of garbage he is, is tolerable because when he doesn't realize how much of an ass he is, he gets what's coming to him. <laughs> Take it when Zatch asks Keo to let Schneider stay with them. Matter, matter, no. Schneider is a horse looking Momoto who hasn't found his partner yet. Keo thinks it might be dangerous to keep another Momoto in the house, but just look at him. How could you turn your back on this guy? Bite him, Schneider. Bite him. So I was beginning to enjoy Zatch Bell, but I just knew that thing was waiting to be revealed in the show, ready to spoil what fun I was having. But then it's voiced by Richard Horvitz. You guys have really made me mad. Now it's payback time. And it's my absolute favorite character in the show. <laughs> Enter Kachome and his human partner, Italian superstar, Parco Falgore. Hey, hey. two are the best. Kachome is just a total weakling, so Falgore keeps him around just because he's nice like that. These two are so ridiculous. Bambino mio! Was it a something I said? Seeing them for the first time is when I finally accepted that I really, really liked this show. When creating Falgore, Raikou was inspired by a simple yet powerful phrase. Invincible Italian man. Ah! Invincible Falgore! Kachome is a huge Falgore fan, and every time they get knocked down, the energy of Falgore's theme song brings them right back to life. Despite being joke characters, Falgore and Kachome are exceedingly kind. They even have their moment to be heroes when Kachome decides to retrieve a young girl's sheep, stolen by a dragon-like Momoto. It's kind of a big job for such a little guy, no? Uh, huh? Like, how are you gonna bring the sheep back? Can you even carry one a sheep? Uh, yes! Zatch, dance, my guy. I love you. You're so good. Dance, my dude. Oh, I'll buy you the record later. Fuck you, Keo. The battles in Zatch Bell are fun, but I definitely wouldn't call them impressive in terms of their production quality. However, the rules established for the Momoto battle themselves inherently make every fight intense. So Zatch can only use his powers if Keo reads the spells, and because of the tournament's rules, if a book is burned, the Momoto is sent back to the Momoto world. So the goal of Momoto fights is supposed to be the burning of an opponent's book. Keo isn't just like a Pokemon trainer here, he's an active participant in the fight, so there's a lot of elements to be concerned about, and a lot of ways they could get a leg up in battle. There's a lot of clever fight solvencies, rather than just overpowering the enemy. What I like about Zatch Bell as a pseudo-entry in the monster pet genre is that the dynamics in each Momoto team is very human. Kyo and Zatch are like siblings, but there are Momoto who manipulate their humans into helping them fight, humans who think Momoto are inconvenient, and these two. These two f When we meet a new Momoto team, no matter what they say, things are always tense because we know the purpose for them to be in the human world is to participate in the tournament. And I think it's the more casual nature of the show that makes me want to see these characters succeed despite their flaws. Their relationship isn't defined through fights, it's defined through their casual day-to-day -day relationship. It feels normal, but it's not, it's uniquely fragile. Early on, we meet a Momoto who doesn't want to have to fight in the tournament, but the spells in the book make her fight. Zatch has to burn her book because she becomes a danger to everyone around her. It's here that Zatch makes a promise. He'll fight to become a benevolent king who will make sure Momoto never have to fight each other again. The book's physical fragility makes every fight have stakes, especially when a side character is involved because that's not their name on the title. They could die any second. Apollo and Raps are introduced as a fierce and strong rival to Zatch and Keo. The fight with Apollo ends in a draw and the two promise to fight again one day. However, it's an unfulfilled rivalry because Apollo loses Raps before they can meet again. Of course, he loses to evil Zatch, the hyped up overpowered main villain. Later on, Zatch and Keo end up losing a fight to a strong opponent, Mr. No Nipples in the Front, All Nipples in the Back here. After losing, they decide not to burn Zatch and Keo's book out of respect for Zatch and Keo's effort to fight for a cause. And while this helps to solidify what they're fighting for, it reminds them of what they're risking by fighting at all. 
Kyo and Zatch don't go looking for fights, the fight comes to them, and if they find a Momoto who shares their benevolent values, they choose not to fight at all. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who leads, only the values they lead with. I love how Zatch Bell sees kindness. Zatch was incredibly weak in the Momoto world, but he becomes strong with Kyo's help. However, Kyo's the one who needs to change to be more kind because that's what motivates him to help Zatch to achieve his goal at all. Zatch Bell doesn't view kindness as a weakness. It's viewed as something that takes effort. It's something that's not always easy to do, but it's something that's absolutely worth the practice and patience and understanding because it benefits everyone around you and it benefits yourself. I wish I gave Zatch Bell a better chance when it was on. Yeah, it was slightly off-putting to me as somebody who had never seen it because it's a weird, disgusting, dummy, doll-like thing that has the voice of Jimmy Neutron, but it's exceedingly charming. Zatch Bell, unfortunately, hasn't gotten the proper love I think it deserves. The English dub was cancelled after the second season, and many people don't believe the anime adaptation does the manga justice, ending before the final arc of the manga. Recently, Zatch Bell just finished a premium digital reprinting in Japan, and fan outcry for another version version of the anime has intensified after the announcement of another Shonen Jump anime from this time, Shaman King would be getting a second updated anime adaptation. Hopefully Zatch Bell has another opportunity to be in the public conscious one day because I genuinely think it deserves another chance. But until then, I'll be thinking about him. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. This is your first video of mine. Consider subscribing, checking out another video over here. Comment down below what other 2000s era anime you'd like me to watch. Other than that, have a good day. I'm tired. I'm stressed. I'll see you next week.